Jeremy. Yes, sir. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. So you're the exec producer? That is correct. I've been working at Marvel with Kevin Feige since uh, 2004. So, you know, on every film, there's kind of a uh, version of me. We kind of go out and we, uh, we're on the ground making the film, uh, you know, kind of working alongside this guy, James Gunn. And, you know, it's, it's really exciting. It's uh, kind of a every, every day in the process kind of vibe. That must be, I mean, it, it, with something like, something like this, I saw it last night, it felt very much like you gave James an incredibly free hand. Yeah, absolutely. You? Well, I mean, look, from the very beginning of the process, James had a really great sense of what he wanted to do with the story, and it really clicked with what we wanted to do. And, and from our first meeting, you know, Jonathan Schwartz and I had a, an initial meeting with James, and it was like, wait a minute, this is all kind of lining up together really nicely. And so after that, it was just fun, fun the whole way through. It was really a smooth, fun process actually obviously Marvel has had a couple of instances recently where directors have split with the team what, uh, I'm curious what leads to that in terms of well it's interesting because I you know I wasn't on any of the projects that had happened on so I'm not I'm not quite there you know right now I'm, I'm, I'm working on Avengers 2 with Joss and you know it's my second film in a row with Joss and it's it's a blast we're having a good time I had a great time with uh, with with James and I had a great time with John Favreau on Iron Man 1 and 2 so so I'm, I don't know quite know what happened over there but you know for me it's all about like let's get together and let's let's have a great time and, and let's kind of line things up and, and, and make a great movie when are we gonna get a Carol Danvers and a Black Panther that's a great question you know there's there's so many cool characters and just the question is how do we line them all up where do we fit them in and you know we want to put them all we want to make movies about all of them and, and you know the goal is to start kind of teasing in new ideas and start you know finding new ways to open the universe up this is a really great way to open the universe up on the cosmic side we have plans obviously for that and how that's going to kind of connect back together and you know the more we can kind of bring in new characters, the better. And obviously the Marvel Comics universe has become a lot more diverse last week. Has that conversation happened yet? Well, I mean, I found out about that on set when Hemsworth walked up to me and said, mate, I'm a woman now. And I said, uh, I gotta make a phone call. I didn't know it was happening. Like, it was happening in New York on the comic side. We're off making the films. You know, kind of happens out of the blue. Hey, man, how are you? Is it? Good. Would it? Would it, be, would it be possible actually just for the two of you just to comment on your working relationship very quickly? Yeah. Just how it, how it works between the pair of you? Well, I mean, this guy is the guy who I went into a meeting room and I wouldn't, my, Jeremy, I wouldn't be surprised if it was two years ago to this day. It, it, what day is today? That today, I, July 24th. It very well might be. Two years to this day yeah. that I walked into a meeting room with him and another guy by the, uh, by the name of Jonathan Schwartz, who's the unsung hero of this movie. Absolutely. And we walked in and, I, and they pitched me the idea for Guardians of the Galaxy. And I sat there nodding my head. They showed me some artwork that they had some things planned. And I sat there nodding my head and smiling. I shook their hand on the way out. I said, okay. I walked out the door and I thought, that's those guys are uh, Marvel's gonna lose its winning streak <laughs> and then I started driving home and I thought wait a second this could be the perfect movie the movie that I've always wanted to make it has everything I love it has Marvel superheroes it's a space epic which I never thought I'd get to do and it has raccoons in it because I actually love raccoons so what better and then I I just saw the whole thing and it's weird because that movie that I saw in my head on that car ride away from Marvel that's that. the movie we made. It's down down to the T, it's the movie we made. You know, like James immediately he sent us a document like a day or two later. Yeah. And I it think was the next day. Yeah. The next day. And and it laid out the whole movie and it's the movie we're making. Yes. And it's really uncanny. It, it was very, really fun. Very quickly, obviously there is another major space opera happening. If the opportunity arose to do a Star Wars film, but it clashed with a guard with Guardians 2, would you bail? No, I mean, I don't need Star Wars. I've got the Guardians. We've got our own thing. This is fun over here. I love Star time. Wars, but that's not my thing. That's Eric. Thank you very much, thank gentlemen. You. Thank Cheers. You. How are you, dude? Good. Good.